I lost my ukulele, but it's okay because <laughs> I have to put it in. I, I was too em first. I was too embarrassed to tell you actually, but um, I I left my ukulele on a train. The train went away, and we went. So basically, today we've gone all the way into well, all the way outside of Copenhagen and all the way back in order to check the lost property and it's not there but they said to call them on Monday and Wednesday and all of the lost property in the whole country goes there the woman said so I feel like there's a pretty high chance that it's gonna show up there and they said they can mail it back to the UK for us but I feel like a complete idiot for, for doing he's it. Not an, tell him he's not an idiot. Tell him. He's not an idiot. Everyone forgets stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, they're not saying anything. It's, it, but like, it's like... Say it. I, I, it's like my m number one thing I own. My prized possession. The only thing I actually give a shit about that's physical. Uh, well, apart from people. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah, I know you do. I know you do. I'm, I'm explaining it for myself, really. Just because I really... Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're in a t little town called Voyens. On our way to Reba, the oldest town in Denmark. And hopefully they have somewhere for us to stay. He lost his ukulele. It doesn't matter. It, it does matter, but it, it's going to be okay. It's all about balance because yesterday was, was one of my favourite days of the whole trip. So something bad had to happen. Didn't have to. Well, it did. This is the small town that we were talking about. It feels small. I was, you know what I mean. Um, okay, well, it's not very cinematic, but we're in a lovely field in Denmark. This is a national heritage site. Actually, I think it's coming onto a world heritage site. Uh, is, how cool is that? And his <laughs> And we're gonna meditate. This has been our plan for a while. To go to a really nice, peaceful, wild spot. We're gonna meditate, get into a nice meditated meditative state. <laughs> to the northwest, one has a view of the marsh landscape and to the south the medieval town with the cathedral at its centre. The, ca the castle at River House was first documented in 1320. The 8 metre high mound is square shaped measuring 90 by 90 metres at its base and surrounded by a 30 metre wide boat. Reba House, as it looks today, is the result of archaeological excavations and restoration work undertaken in 1940-1941. The lower part of the medieval town, you get the point. Oh my god, it's a medieval ghost. What? This is my house. I like the place, man. So this is the kitchen. Nice kitchen, bro. This is the bathroom. Easily confused with the kitchen. Just kidding. Uh, a lovely restaurant, and they give you blankets to keep warm. We're about to change our name on Instagram from Wise Men to the Danish Book Club. That's our new name, by the way. Oh yeah, of course you weren't there for all of that. Oh shit, how are we going to explain it to you? Well, we're not. We'll write a book about it. We'll write a book about it. Go on, you do it. Done. Sheesh. I feel different, bro. I feel Danish. It feels weird, but yeah, it's good. It does feel weird. Uh, let's see how people. Let's see if anybody cares. <laughs> <laughs> no questions. <laughs> yeah. You can't ask us why. How are you guys doing at home? You've been enjoying watching us be very silly on Yeah, I mean, I wonder who you, who's watching this far. 
it's kind of like people probably fizzled out slowly throughout the thing. Yeah, we're coming near the end. I guess future us. So hello, future us. Hello, future us in the editing room. And then maybe I don't know. I don't want to be. I, don't, I genuinely don't think anyone is that interested. I hope my, maybe my parents. Your parents. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shoot, we're sat on the floor. Oh yeah, the this, is a, this isn't our space. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, friend. Cheers. This is our home for tonight. It's good. <laughs> we're in the Barney Fields of Reba. This is dinner. Oh, thank you. Cheap dinner. Salami. Salami on bread. I'm actually so happy. Yeah. Might be a bit cold, but let's hope it doesn't rain. Yeah, that's all. Really Don't rain, Denmark. Just spent the night in there in that bush. And we woke up feeling fresh, feeling good, and we just got invited by a lady who was swimming in the lake to come to her house and have some tea. Uh, these are our two new friends, Lise and Ola. They have been very hospitable to us. They have given us breakfast and uh, they're now letting us use their bikes for the day. Can't thank you guys enough. It's so wonderful and kind. <laughs> oh, nice Overwhelmed by the kindness. Nice to meet you yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yes, new friends. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sorry, I forgot to bring my camera with me, but we just made a really good friend in a pub. It's the second oldest pub in Denmark, technically, but actually, it's the first oldest pub in Denmark. We made a very close friend called Lisbeth, and we had incredible conversations. I didn't bring my camera with me, um, first time I've done that, so I'm very sorry, but it was great. I also met this man on the street, his name is Mathieu Nobelle. I'm from the street. Yeah, we're coming to the end of our Reba trip. It's been really, really, really wonderful. Yet again, I feel like I haven't filmed enough. But that's because you, you don't tend to film when you're actually doing the, the awesome stuff. I don't know the awesome stuff. I feel at home here. We'll be back. We'll be back, Reba. And Denmark in general. Denmark I love. I said that about every place, but I really do mean it. In a different way, yeah. with Denmark.